<laughs> Hello YouTube and what is up? I'm here today to talk about a game which I feel is particularly underrated and that is Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories for the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation Portable. Released in 2005 on the PSP, the game had been scaled down quite a bit compared to the game that came before it and that was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now, obviously this was supposed to be a spin-off and originally intended for the PSP, which isn't quite as powerful, obviously, as the PS2 or PC or Xbox. However, this game is mainly underrated because it lacked what San Andreas had. And by this point, many people ha had actually got San Andreas. And with this being released only on the PSP for a year until it came out on the PS2, the game didn't receive quite enough attention that it should have done, simply because of this exclusivity. More to the point, the game isn't available on any Xbox systems, it's only available on the PS2 and PSP. It's also not available on the PC. So that's limiting the market even more for this game. But anyway, back to the point about the game lacking features the game before it had, San Andreas allowed you to go to the gym to build skills, to modify your car, to fly planes, to fly helicopters, to buy houses, to change your clothes to your liking, to cut the character's hair, to swim, and the list goes on and on. With Liberty City Stories, however, the game had none of that. The game was a sorely grounded version of San Andreas and in the way that it expressed basically the core element of Grand Theft Auto. Rockstar Games promised it would be a spin-off and that's exactly what it was. It lacked the high octane thrills of the later and earlier games which were the main entry point of the series, for example Vice City and San Andreas and later GTA 4 and GTA 5, but I'm not going to compare those because of obvious generation differences. However, with Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, many people argue the game is a step back. In a way, I feel this game was supposed to appeal to the GTA 3 hardcore in offering the city in a new light in a third person view, obviously as Grand Theft Auto 3 had, but with a fully rotational camera within that third person view, because obviously Grand Theft Auto 3 had a locked camera. But I feel it was supposed to cater to that audience by offering the new engine, the, the engine that San Andreas came on. And that was true with Vice City Stories as well, however Vice City Stories corrected quite a few issues by adding a new melee system, bringing back swimming, and bringing back property purchasing, plus air transport. And that's why I feel Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories is underrated. I for one love the original Liberty City, and Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories <laughs> offers a very refined insight into the mobster lifestyle of Liberty City, and it returns to the world's most hated city as Spring Grand Theft Auto. Three. And for that I can't help but love this game. Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories is an excellent game and although it lacks features, it very much still is a, an a incredible experience. It's got all the content in terms of side missions, collectibles, in that sense it's not scaled down. And also the story is very engaging with a lot of plot twists and plot turns and I for one have to respect the game for that as well. And although it didn't have quite as many features as Vice City Stories, it certainly excelled in storytelling, at least offering so, minimal plot Delphi holes compared to Vice City Stories, hey, which man, had you playing as a character who couldn't decide whether they wanted to kill people or let them live, and that was shown through the cutscenes in which he kept changing his mind, which was further portrayed in the gameplay contrary to the vocabulary used in the cutscenes by Vic, the protagonist. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe, leave your thoughts below for more videos and this video, and remember, thank you for watching again, I'll see you guys next time, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I am out, so take care, and I'll see you next time.
ты так. Sure, sure. I'm telling you, man, this is Doc was a dealer. 